hello students welcome back again to this video series on data representation and till now we have learned different types of data that can be represented in a computership system um, for example we have learned how to represent unsigned integers sign integers that is sign numbers real numbers that is fractional numbers etc and today we will discuss how to represent characters in a computer so let's start so in order to code a character or a string of or a set of characters um, or string we have to use a set of binary digits so in order to code a character string of binary digits is used so in order to ensure uniformity in coding two standard codes have been used the first one is ascii american standard code for information interchange and ebc dic that is extended binary coded decimal interchange code so these two standard codes are used to in ensure the uniformity of in coding so first one is what ASCII. So this is abbreviated form of American Standard Code for Information Interchange. So it is a ASCII is a character encoding standard for electronic communication. ASCII code represents text in computers, telecommunication equipment, and other devices. Most modern computer encoding schemes are based on ASCII, although they support many many additional characters also. So, if I talk about the overview of ASCII, ASCII was developed from telegraph code. Its first commercial use was a seven-bit teleprinter code promoted by Bell Data Services. The use of ASCII format for network interchange was described in 1961. So that document was formally elevated to an internet standard in 2015. So originally based on the English alphabet, ASCII and codes 128 specified characters into 7 bit integers ok that means in general this is a 7 bit uh, code for representing 128 ca English characters as numbers with each letter assigned to a number from 0 to 127 for example the ASCII code for uppercase capital M that is capital M uh, the ASCII code is 77. So most computer use this ASCII code to represent text which makes it possible to transfer data from one computer to another. The standard ASCII character set uses a 7 bit for each character. So there are several larger character sets that use 8 bits. So there are uh, there is another standard that is 8 bit standard ASCII code. So these are used for several larger characters, so which gives additional 128 additional characters, so total of 256 characters. So if we use this 8 bit ASCII code, it will encode 256 characters. So the extra characters are used to represent non-English characters, graphic symbols, and mathematical symbols. So for those kind, 8 bit ASCII code is used. So several companies and organizations have proposed the extension for these 120 characters and the DOS operating system uses a super set of ASCII called extended ASCII or IS. So a more universal standard is the ISO Latin one set of characters which is used by many operating systems as well as web browser. So that was all about ASCII. Then EBC DIC, the extended binary coded decimal 
in intersection code is a binary code for alphabetic and numeric characters that IBM developed for its larger operating systems. So it is the code for text files that is used in IBM's operating system for its server and that thousands of corporations use for their legacy applications and databases. So in an ABC DIC file, each alphabetic or numeric character is represented with an 8-bit binary number. So there are 256 possible characters including letters, numerals and special characters are defined. So ABC DIC is a different form and incompatible with the ASCII character set used by the all other computers. So this code allows 256 different characters for personal computers. However, ASCII is the standard. If you want to move text between your computer and a mainframe, you can get a file conversion utility that you will convert between EBDIC and ASCII. So EBDIC was adapted from character codes used in IBM's pre-electronic punch card machines, which, which made it less than ideal for modern computers. So among its many inconveniences were the use of non-contiguous codes for the alphabetic characters and absence of several punctuation characters such as square brackets used for many much modern software. So uh, this EBC DIC is not used in modern computers. ASCII is widely used in modern computers. Okay. So again, you have heard. Again, you have heard this Unicode word. This is frequently used in uh, this computer technology. So what is what do you mean by this Unicode? So fundamentally, computers are this deal with numbers. You know that. So they stores letters and other characters by assigning a number of number of uh, number for each one. So before Unicode was invented, there were hundreds of different systems called character encodings for assigning these numbers. So these early character encodings were limited and could not contain enough characters to cover all the world languages. So Former coding systems can't cover cover all word languages. So even a single language like English or non-single encoding was inadequate for all letters, punctuation, and technical symbols in common use. So early character encodings also conflicted with one another. So that is the problem. These were the problem with other encoding systems. So, Unicode has sensed all that. Unicode has overcome all those limitations. So, Unicode standard provides a unique number for each character, no matter how, no matter what platform device, applications, or language. So, it has been adopted by all modern providers and now allows data to be transported through many different platforms, devices, and applications without. Corruption support of Unicode forms the foundation of foundation for the representation of languages and symbols in all major operating systems, search engine browsers, laptops, and smartphones, plus the internet and www, etc. So supporting Unicode is the best way to implement this ISO standard. So the emergence of Unicode standard and the availability of the tools supporting it are among the most significant recent global software technology trends. So, so, so this Unicode is, a, is an information technology standard for consistent encoding, representation and handling of text expressing most of the world's writing systems. Okay? So the standard is maintained by Unicode Constria and as of March 
so unicode standard consists of a set of code search for visual reference and encoding method and set of standard characters encodings so a set of reference data files and a number of related items such as character properties rules for normalization decomposition so these are the main three standards for representing character in computer so if you want you can get details in google or any search engine about this ASCII, ebcdic or unicode you can study if you want okay that's all for today thank you